What is up, vlog? Hey, man, I want to thank you guys for joining us today. And today is the big day, and you get to come along with me. This isn't going to be a barbecue video, so if you don't want to see anything like this, go ahead and watch the next video. Leave. Bye. See you. But if you do, you're going to want to watch this. Today's the big day. We start moving the entire Cosmos universe. And it starts right now. Hey, what is up, vlog? I'm Cosmo, and if you love the barbecue and grill, then this is the place for you. Subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss a thing. Hey, man, I want to thank you guys for joining us today. Today is going to be a day, for lack of a better term. We're going to move all of this to our new location. Um, we got a bunch going on, but I didn't realize how big Cosmos has actually gotten. We emptied these shelves out already. You know, got it all down here, wrapped up, some over here, wrapped up. The last time I moved Cosmos, I, I still used a flatbed trailer, kind of like the one I'm using today, but it only took one load and we didn't even have a, we didn't, we didn't even have a forklift. We just threw it all on there and drove off. We got at about a 40 foot flatbed trailer. We're wrapping all this up. We're not moving very far. Uh, that's why we're using a flatbed and man, we're freaking rednecks. We're here in Oklahoma. You know, it's just what we do. Only moving about eight miles, but right now it's looking. I've already taken some over there, um, just eight pallets, because I thought the trailer was going to break. But it's looking like we're going to have right at about 50 pallets. So, nothing left to do now but get started. All right, so here we are at the new location. Uh, got a rental forklift, so I'm gonna walk you guys along through here. New paint, this is a warehouse. They didn't do much on the, on the sheetrock. This is where the forklift driver next door back into the wall and they just sheetrocked around it. New employee. New. Wes. I'm past my 90 day. <laughs> Looking good. This is gonna be the break room area. <laughs> he takes break all time. Now this is where uh, this is, and I'm thinking we're gonna do classes. Uh, we got doors coming in here, and they're putting in a new set of double doors right here. Kitchen, little office. This is it right here. This will be the showroom, ish. So at first we're gonna get the uh, obviously. Uh, get the warehouse moved. That's that's our first priority. Get the warehouse moved. Get everything in here. Get shipping orders. Get all the computers up. All that stuff. And then from there, after we get that stuff done and set up out there, then we'll work on the retail storefront. It may take us a couple months because we got to do a lot of work to it. But yeah, that's okay. All right, day three of the move. Last thing left, forklift. Got the big old stairs. We ended up moving all day Thursday, all day Friday. We finally got done, about, I think the guys got done about 3.30. It's a complete mess. Wait for the forklift to get picked up right now. Well, I'm not waiting, I just left them. I was waiting on uh, another company in Oklahoma City and uh, they decided they were too busy this morning. Or, no, I'm sorry, they decided they they couldn't make it this morning because uh, employee issues or some crap, I don't know. They made some excuse, I, I don't know. So I called uh, Sergio's, Sergio's, you can count on them, Sergio's uh, Towing in Oklahoma City. They're coming to pick this forklift up, they're gonna pick up the other forklift and we're gonna get going. 
Uh, it's going to be a hectic day, but the guys have done an amazing job. They busted their rear ends. Thank goodness it wasn't that hot. It was hot, but it wasn't that. It was only in the uh, low to mid 90s. Um, we got everything. We got the uh, Wes and the team, they got all the shipping stations set up Friday, so we never skipped a beat. Never skipped a beat, which is unbelievable how much inventory we moved, and the end consumer will never know. Their orders are going out at 8 a.m. this morning, just like they would have, which is phenomenal. Um, Man, I'm just proud of the guys. They kicked ass, man. So, today we're going to go to the warehouse, start working on getting it organized, and uh, I'm bringing you along. Um, hey, guys, man, if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button for, brother. We're killing ourselves for you, but that's okay, because we love you. Thank you. And without you guys, none of this is possible. It's all you. I promise we'll get back to some cooking videos here shortly. Just bear with us. But, you know, I figured you guys might want to see some of this. You know? Like the, the, the how, a, how you start a company from $500 to $5 million and how we move it. You know, and how we operate. I mean, it's your stuff. We're sending it to you. I would want to know. Transparency is the key, man. Transparency is the key. All right, guys, I'll see you at the shop. Is it on? Yeah, it's recording. <laughs> I look yeah. good, man. You do. Fix my hair this morning. <laughs> <laughs> you have hair. So this is the mess. We're uh, putting up racking over here. This racking over here is not going to work, but that's okay. So, but I'll I'll walk you through here and just kind of show you uh, the way it's set up. So this is. That's our shipping station way over there. This is where we'll have all the product. That's Alex up there. We have a bunch of rooms. Matt shipping orders. Wes doing what he does best. I need some privacy. Can I get a safety pan for you? It's hot. <laughs> this will be where we do classes and whatnot. We gotta fix that railing there, and it's look, it's coming along. Already got the floor dirty. I'm excited, man. Uh, I'm gonna get to work, put the camera down, start working. So I'll show you guys what the uh, what it looks like here in a minute. Hey, what is up, everybody? This is day four. Day four. Yeah, day four, day five. Day a four or five something like that of the move we're finally all in best we can so i'm going to give you guys a walk around show you uh everything the guys have done and uh tell me what you think we got all of this racking put up we uh we need racking for this wall right here but we got it coming need more sauce need more brisket mop the guys got the uh the picking area set up uh, these are some other products that they're going to get put up, and uh, we're shipping orders. You guys doing anything today? No, not at all. Alex? <laughs> you shipping? Screwing up people's orders, probably. Now we have a phone system, so when you call, this will ring. This guy has been instructed. No more than two rings. This is the break room. Actually, Logan is on his way right now to go get a table. We'll put right here. For the guys, we got a little makeshift fridge down here, sink, ice trays right there for our, for our bourbon. And once again, the front, nothing's done yet. My buddy Kevin's coming today. He's gonna build the uh, countertop right here. Once we get the countertop done, we're gonna slat this wall. Then as soon as we get done slatting this wall, charcoal right down here or down here. And then uh, we're gonna put cookers down this side of the wall, I think. I'm sure it'll all change a hundred times by then. So, hey, let me take you upstairs. I think we're gonna put a TV here for our classes. And we'll also do classes in this area. So, I think we can probably get 15, maybe 20 people. I think we could probably get 20 in there, but it may be cramped, so. This is the office. This is the main office. 
This is gonna be Logan and Wes's office. This is my office. It's kind of weird having an office now. I haven't had an office in, uh, since I quit my last job. So, yeah. Man, I like it. I'm pumped, man. I'm pumped. But not really. I hate sitting in an office. I hate it. And I hate when I find myself sitting there all day long and getting this. So, I think what we're going to do out here is over in this area right here. Maybe like a living room setup, couch, coffee table, TV on the wall. You know, for the guys. They want to play Fortnite on their break or watch TV. I think on this wall back here, and hey, I, this is where I need you guys to comment down below. And I'm dead serious, right here. We're thinking about building a place to do our live streams. So if we did it right here, what would you want the background to be? Comment down below. We got some wood we can do and all kinds of stuff. We can pull other people in from different locations. So if we want to chat with our buddy from Ballistic Barbecue, boom, we can do it. If we want to chat with my boy Malcolm, boom, we can do it. So, you guys comment down below. I got one more area to show you. This is our mezzanine. This is all, all boxes, gift boxes, shaker bottles, all of our apparel, hats, koozies, coasters, injectors, flying the flag for real major 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 safety violation right here we're actually going out today buying wood and we're gonna make that removable so we can uh, get the forklift up here but um, I, I want a barrier there so you cannot walk off hey man that's it I want to thank you guys for watching this non barbecue video but hey I just feel like you guys want to know what the heck is going on so I'm gonna give it to you thank you Make sure to hit that subscribe button, like if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.